Alright, so anyways, what I'm going to be doing tonight is showing you a little bit of a advanced crafting. Now, advanced crafting is, say you want a flat from something, but for some odd reason you keep on getting S plus armor flats, or S plus uh, flats from, you know, like, uh, shit, my brain is broken, I just got off work. S plus uh, flats from, uh, you know, just S plus plats like evasion, uh, force field, and armor and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm actually going to show you how to handle that to where you can get the flats going on to your characters. So I'm going to make a light armor. What I want to do is I want to create it up to 100%. I don't really care what's on it. The 110% is because I'm going to be crafting onto it. Uh, the same thing is uh, that pretty much since my guy's armor, I'm only going to do light armor, but I'm actually going to do them all for you guys tonight just to show you what I'm talking about. So uh, a lot of times what happens is you end up getting that you end up getting flats that you don't want. And, uh, of course, you can always just re-roll them all and stuff like that, which is perfectly fine. Because that's kind of what we're going to be doing is gambling a little bit. But you're about to see my uh, ghetto uh, purifier here right now. So if you're ever a mage, the ghetto purifier is actually the aura for, uh, as you can see, the fire aura. The way you do this is you actually equip your wand and you equip a physical weapon and what it does is the wand will shoot but the physical weapon makes you run at the enemies it's kind of like a cheap trick to do the same thing you would with a purifier if you don't have a purifier and since on normal mode i do not have a purifier this is what i'm doing to be able to farm stuff right now i am going to be building some armor later on because i do have a foot well i think i'm missing one piece on my mara set maybe but I have the necklace for it, so I'm going to be making a full Mara set and stuff, and I'm actually going to be farming opals and stuff over the next uh, couple days up until the new season starts. So I'm going to be doing a lot of little small things here and there that just kind of, you know, it can kind of help the newer players, help the community stuff. And I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, I'm going to be streaming on YouTube, I'm going to be posting these videos, I'm going to still be making videos and stuff. I just want to engage more with you guys and see what you guys like to see and everything like that. Like, I do like the fact that, um, what's his name in here? Hold on, sorry. Kind of miss your name. Rick Rumble, he says, hey Smingles, I think it would be a nice video idea to explain how and when to spend opals. Which, actually, I can go over that right now. So, <clears throat> well, as soon as this finishes, because it's going to end up exiting it out as soon as I go on to the next area. So, the way you want to be spending opals is you want to be opening up your passive slots first. So, your passive slots, uh, you pretty much want to get all those open because you want to get those trained. Your passive slots are pretty much what's going to be helping you push forward in the game. Such as, like, if you're a mage, these are absolutely broken. This gi this is giving me 280% increase fire resistance and converts 33% of the damage taken as fire. And it's on every single one of these. This one is 280 cold, 33%. This one is my lowest one, 170, but 22%. It's taking them all together, and it's converting the damage into a lower amount of damage. You want to make sure you open up <coughs> the passive slots first, and then you want to open up the actual passive... Uh, that actual passive areas where you're going to put it. The next thing you would do is you would start doing your active skills. Active skills become stronger much later on in the game. So by the time you hit around probably 10-1 is when you're going to kind of want your actives to meet more up because uh, by 10-1 you should be able to have two of these that you can either set to your idol or you can set to your... Um, what is it? You're active and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. But yeah, for actual spending of opals, and I'll make a shorter video on that. The way you would spend opals is you would first get the uh, passive slots, then you would get the passive skill training. Then after that, you can come up here. Um, you're always going to want to use uh, 
pat you're always going to want to use opals to open up uh these right here i spent a bunch of opals just because i have i have so much stuff and i still have to go through everything here and stuff like i gotta go through and get rid of all the ingots i got the, like iron 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 i have so much iron it's stupid but um it's like you're gonna want to open it you're gonna be using a lot of stash spots and stuff like that so you definitely want to use them on stash spots but priority is going to be opening up the other things if you don't have enough room uh in your thing clear out older stuff clear out um like lower level essences and everything and save the opals until you get the passive slots opened up after that then you're kind of good to go you'll be spending your opals pretty much on opening up uh stash spots and also using them to give us all buffs which i hope you all do hardcore next season and uh give us a lot of buffs but you know that could be my hope i i want to show you guys this though my dolphin So anyways, it's um pretty much like I'm doing the ghetto version of the run right here. And yeah, you can see it's doing the same exact thing as the purifier and stuff. It's actually really smart for next season if you wanted to get a mage and just get him up to pretty much like level 10k. This would give you a chance to be able to farm like a purifier. Of course, you have to go a couple worlds down and you got to make sure you have the damage to do it and stuff like your mage is going to be using elemental damage so you want to make sure you have the damage and everything like that but it's much faster way to actually gain items while you're looking for a purifier for later on if you're a mage you don't necessarily need a purifier just due to the fact that you are doing elemental damage and elemental damage is really strong like right now it's like I've upped this to 17% to get the 54%, but I'm also uh, but I'm also reduced by 70%. But I mean, I'm still running through 21 like it's nothing, you know. And I can even go higher than that. I mean, let, let's see. I mean, this character already died. He's not even hardcore or anything like that. So let's check it out. Maybe I can go even higher. Let's do 22 one, just for fun, just uh, to mess around and see how I do here. Like, look at that. I'm still doing such a good amount of damage. A purifier, you got to go down a couple worlds and stuff because it's not doing it. This is based off solely my actual, like, elemental damage and stuff like that. So I could actually idle here and get even better essences and stuff like that. It's just what I'm going for right now is the clear speed because I want to do this crafting video for you guys. So we're just going to go back down. We're going to drop it down. We're going to go 21-1. Think 21-1 is where I'm one-shotting everything. Now that's still too slow, so we're actually gonna go down one more. And then once I have a couple things, I'm going to start crafting for you guys and showing you guys what's up, so. Oh. Hey, thanks, Student TV 91 I appreciate the follow. Definitely. Uh, anything you wanna learn, anything you wanna know? Just let me know. Right now, I'm just farming the items to be able to do the active, uh, or to be able to show how to do advanced crafting. I don't know how new you are or old you are or anything like that, but I want to make sure that everybody is kind of like ready and prepared for season three because season three, I want to be competitive as hell. If you notice in season two, right here, Season 2, look at this, for your top ranked players, season previous, uh, for hardcore season previous, top players, Smiggles, uh, hardcore version 3 is 6, and my, uh, let's see, that's previous season, it's not showing the, so I guess hardcore normal would be what it is right now but my uh actual uh mage was able to get to uh high level why is it showing it from before that's so weird hardcore season previous 
Because I was ranked 6 for the Hunters, and I was rank 4 for this. So they still haven't updated the seasons. That's kind of sad, actually. But that's perfectly fine. We'll see it here in a couple days once everything gets fixed. I actually have to put that in as a thing for uh, Ubik to actually look at. Hold on. Let me actually put that in the tech support real quick. Tech support. Um. Cool. Anyways, we're just going to be farming for a little bit uh, longer. Okay, never mind. We're not going to be farming anymore. So, advanced crafting. The way advanced crafting works is you're going to be pretty much taking... I have a bunch of, like... I have a shit ton of these right here. And a lot of them I'm not going to be able to use on my armor and stuff because I'm running force field. So, since I am running force field, how can I change an evasion to something if I can't add evasion onto an item that uses force field? Well, the way I would do that <clears throat> is actually come over to the blacksmith and we're going to find out what runs for, uh, what runs evasion. So this has evasion on it. So what I want to do here is I actually want to clear up some of my stuff so that way I'm not overbooked here. Move some of that out the way. Is I'm going to go to my relics. I'm going to pull out some of these bad boys. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that and that. And I'm going to get that. So I'm going to be coming here. And the way we're going to be doing it is. So where is the one with evasion? So this one has evasion. So it's got 110% durability. I don't really have to stress it that much. I'm going to look over here and see what it, what was it the evasion one was on here I believe so evasion was on here uh, no I don't want to leave the blacksmith at all actually I want to go here I want to put that not that oh, I'm kind of messing up right now so I want to roll this and I want to get like flat evasion so there's the flat evasion. So what I'm actually going to do with this is I'm going to change it to and pick up the flat evasion. I'm going to roll it to this. So now I have flat evasion on that. Is there anything else? Total evasion. I don't want total evasion because I don't use it. So I'm also going to throw total evasion on it as well. I'm going to take that and I'm going to turn it into something that my force field items can use. And the way I'm going to do that is by using these. So we're actually going to start chucking some stuff away because I'm going to need a couple of these to get what I want. Alright, so we got all those. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to put this here. And Well, no, no not here. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, guys. Not here, but we're going to put these here. And increase magic fine and 141% poison resistance. I can put on a force field item. So now I'm going to take one of my force field items and I'm going to roll it a little bit with one of the relics of renewal. And I'm going to look for magic fine. I'm going to look for... Uh, poison resist. I'm going to see if I can get both of them. And the reason I'm using the Relic of Renewal is so that way I don't mess up my durability. I want the high durability so that way I can roll the items more often. So we're going to sit here and roll this for a little bit. Let's see if we can find Magic Find and Poison. Magic Find and Poison is what we're looking for. If I have to just do one, that's perfectly fine, but this is how you kind of find your flats and your total... Uh, total amount for uh, like your armor, your total amount, a total force field and stuff like that. This is a easy way to just change up everything so that way you're getting the essence you want. And this is kind of how you force essences into your favor so that way you're getting the ones you need for your character. 
So all we're doing right now, we're looking for, I, I could even just do this, but the reason I want two is because rolling two is roll, is much better than rolling one because you still only use three if you're rolling two. You, you use three if you roll one, you use three if you roll two, and when I say that, I'm talking about the relic of reorientation. So I want to find, what did I say, poison and magic find. So we're looking for poison and magic pine. And if it takes too long, you know, I'll just I'll just uh, add on something different. But basically there's that right there. I want to find poison, magic pine, poison, magic pine, poison, magic pine. <clears throat> but anyways, how you doing tonight, man? How's everything going? I will teach you my ways. Don't forget to uh follow our set items. You get while levering pretty much useless since you will outlevel them before you get matching pieces. You know, they are actually not useless. The way you actually want to use uh, set items is set items scale with leveling and stuff. And I'm not talking about like you find a set item in 1 2 and it's going to scale with you. But the higher levels you go, the essences are going to scale. So you would actually keep that low level essence or you would keep that low level item because that item might be the item later on that completes your set and completing the set is what you want to do what you would do with that low level um set item is you would actually use this right here which is the relic of reforging and you would add stronger essences to it so that way you can keep the item itself relevant if you get what I'm saying. So you would pretty much add stronger essences as you continue moving forward. Because the first thing you want to do in this game is you want to complete a set depending on how you're playing and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> right now we're just going to kind of keep on rolling this. I'll explain more of that later if uh, you don't understand it and stuff. I have no problem doing that. Um, but let's get back to what I was doing real quick, because I'm also making a video right now. I'm 17 minutes in, and these people hate me because I make these long-ass videos. I should start trimming them down, but I don't, because if they if they really want to learn, then they're going to watch the videos. Yes. I think I just messed up right there, but that's fine. Da-da-da-da-da. We're looking for poison and magic fine. And, the, and like I said, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I don't want to do it. Well, since we're not finding any magic find, I'm going to show you right now. So, the poison came from a item that can only have evasion on it because it's a hunter item, basically. It can only have evasion. You can never put any type of flat on it. You can never put any type of... You can never put any type of flat from forest field. You can never put any type of I'm, I'm, armor essence on it so we're pretty much going to take this item and that poison that I pulled off that item that used to be an evasion thing since I re-rolled it I'm going to throw it on this right here and what I'm actually looking for is I want a flat for my force field so I'm going to come here, and now I'm going to start rolling it. And look at that, 1.89k uh, percent increase force field. So that's how you would, that's advanced crafting. That's taking an item that you'd be like, oh, I keep on getting these 22.7k uh, flats that are S plus for this. All you do is you find the item's that go with your character, such as mages, you know, uh, the light armor goes with that, medium armor goes with your um, hunters, and heavy armor goes with your uh, with your warriors. And so all I did is I took an evasion item and I turned it into a, um, what is it, a light armor. And so now I have a 1.89k percent increased force field, which is actually really good. So I'm actually going to keep that right there. Now, um, let's see, what else do we got going on? I have magic fine right here and 141% uh, for this. So we're actually going to take that apart real quick. 
Oh, and I'm so stupid. I should have used the relic. Okay, guys, so don't do the mistake I just made. If you have these relics right here, use them. Because they give you, um, what these relics actually do is they give you the, um, actual, they make it the same amount of pulling out the highest essences. So, for my two gold essences, I would have actually gotten them both back if I would have put a relic of linking on them. Because it attaches to the two highest essences inside an armor when you're about to disassemble it. And when you disassemble it, you have a much higher chance of getting them both back instead of just getting one back like I just did. So I made a big mistake because I only got one back and I lost one of my uh, S pluses. Which kind of sucks. But... That ends my video right there. That's just a basic explanation on how to actually do the essences. I'm going to end the video, but I'm not ending the stream.